Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In today's episode, we will discuss some if and some ifs. You may also find average if and average ifs on this worksheet. Don't panic. It works exactly similar as some if and some ifs. So pay attention when I am demonstrating some if and some ifs and you should be good to go with average if and average ifs. I am going to leave that part of average if and ifs for you to practice. In order to follow along with me, make sure you download a copy of this workbook using the link in the video description. Let's begin. The sum if function plays a vital role when you want to calculate the sum of certain criteria that is from a list of values you want to see whether certain criteria is met and then you want to make a sum of that particular list for example let's take a look at this sheet here i would want to calculate the sum where the region is east or west or south or north accordingly i will begin by pressing equal to on my keyboard and start typing in sum there are multiple functions that are coming up starting with sum using my mouse arrow key i will select sum if press tab on my keyboard to complete the function now this function requires three arguments range criteria and sum range range is where you want sum if to look for a given criteria so i would want sum if to find whether the region name is going to meet east i will select this column where the region names are listed that's the range i want to focus on then what is the criteria this cell that is east is the criteria for summing up values now which range should be summed up i want it to sum up these values wherever it finds east now i close the bracket and holding the control key this time i will press enter so that my selection does not move in the next cell there we go it gives me a clear picture of the total sales done in eastern zone now if i drag this down it will calculate the sum of other zones similarly when we are talking about some ifs some ifs will take multiple conditions let's begin i press equal to type in sum and will select sum ifs from the list by pressing arrow key on my keyboard and press tab to complete the function now it's asking me what sum range i would want it to sum this range in sum ifs it will ask you to pass the sum range first then comma what is the criteria range this is the criteria range and what should be found this should be found then what is the second criteria range second criteria range is department name and where is my department name here now i will close the bracket and press enter so it's giving me the sum of total sales made by finance in eastern region if i drag this down you can see i will have sum of sales done in west zone i accidentally copied the name of the header don't worry just ignore this cell consulting did zero sales in south it did this much sales in north this is how you calculate the values using sum if and sum ifs average if and average ifs are built on the same lines i am sure with the help of this demonstration you should be able to use average if and average ifs without any difficulty however if you face difficulty do not hesitate to write a comment in the section below and i'll be more than happy to help you in the next episode we will cover more vital areas of excel so don't forget to come back and watch our next episode if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel and enable the notifications for regular updates thank you so much and you have a very lovely day until next time